Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow uh, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates. Okay, Abhirubh Dutta, any productivity hacks? See one, uh, so, so, so what are the productivity hacks? Okay, and I'm going to answer with respect to a software field. Okay, because one thing is very important in the software that software development is a creative field. Okay. When you say creative, there is a lot of creativity involved in building a software. We are creating something totally new. Though you may be writing a very similar code, but you are, you are making something. It's like uh, you go to the beach and you make a sand, sand castle, right? Now, if you see somebody else's sand castle and you start making your sand castle, your sand castle may be different than other, the other person's sand castle. Okay, but that is creativity. Every person who will make the sandcastle, even if he copies everybody else, it's still creativity. You're creating something. Okay, so when you're creating something, okay, then the most important thing about productivity is the combination of using your mind and your time. Okay. Using your mind means you need a very sharp intellect. You need to be, uh, you need to practice your, you, you need to be good in your skills such that you can save time in a lot of things that you are doing. Okay. So, so if you really get good in programming, if you get so good in programming and you know exactly how to build a program, then after that, whatever is given to you, you, you are given to build one certain page, it becomes very easy for you. You practice so much, you practice so hard that now somebody gives you a page, something that used to take you one week, it takes you only three to four hours because you become so good in that. Okay. A lot of programmers want to keep learning new things, but they keep learning new things without actually becoming better in the things that they already know. Okay. And that is one big productivity hack where if you start mastering everything that you start learning. So if you know a certain way in which you can build the code for uh, auth authentication 2.0. Okay. Let's say you understand and you understand it so well that next time this particular thing comes up, you're going to easily quickly write the code and it is always going to be perfect. Okay. Then you will automatically become more productive because now you exactly know the process of writing this code. So as you start writing your code, start building these patterns in your mind and start practicing these patterns. Okay. That is your mind hack. So you are becoming more and more, uh, you're training your mind to see these patterns and you're training, uh, your mind to identify code patterns, which you can use as you go forward. Okay. The second productivity hack is focus. Okay. We live in the distracted world. Okay. 25% of our time goes in unwanted distraction, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, chatting with somebody else, uh, looking at YouTube, Netflix, web series. Now, I'm sure uh, a lot of people must be doing work from home. And I can tell you many people would have something going on while they are coding. Okay. Which means that their mind is working on two sides and it's not that they are just listening to music, which uh, if you're just listening to music, which is not interfering with your creative process, because see coding is a creative process which means you need all faculties of your brain to think. 
in that if you have any distraction if you have somebody talking if you have somebody saying something if you have any kind of distraction going on then it's very difficult to focus on that which means you'll be totally inefficient okay you leave your code you'll go to something you'll come back you start coding again again you will leave you'll go back and every time you come back you have to start over a little bit more okay so you are going to waste a lot of time instead of that if you start focusing and you develop a habit where you uh, focus in chunks like half an hour you are not going to be disturbed by anything nothing nothing can touch you in that half an hour even if the entire building falls you are going to sit there and code okay then what will happen is you will start becoming more and more productive okay and uh, you know in every uh, live i talk about my program how to become a players in that uh, i have a module called performance okay there are four modules in that uh, potential prowess performance and uh, personality and performance is all about productivity how to achieve productivity at your work and i'm i'm talking from software um, uh, engineering point of view so you can go and look into that program how to become a players it's all about that and just imagine i i have worked on this program for 4 months and i have sat down and created kind of a 20 video uh, course training course and this training course is because a lot of people think that once i get a job my career is set okay but that's just a starting point after that you have to think how are you going to become more and more valuable and this is something that nobody can teach you this something that uh, you you know no college can teach you no school can teach you only experience can teach you so what i have done is that i've taken my experience of 23 years in the software industry and from that experience okay and from reading various books and understanding when when i was working i was using all these hacks productivity hacks or personality hacks or um uh, what do you call potential hacks or prowess hacks i was using these hacks in a way that it helped me to grow in my career it helped me to increase my salary it helped me to get uh, better promotions okay so i put everything in this training program uh, which is called how to become an a player so uh, abirudh datta you can look at that program and see if you can uh, you know enroll into it i am sure it will help you okay it will help you i am not saying i am not promising you the moon i am not saying that if you just go through all the videos it will change no if you go through the videos if you understand the philosophy behind the principles which are mentioned in that uh, training program and if you start implementing that okay if you start so i have given a abc system of time management which is what i used in in my own uh, career okay so if you uh, understand that and you start using that and you see okay is this working for you and if it is working can you refine it to make it work for you better okay and when you start doing that then your career will change uh, as per your own desire and as per your own dreams okay so uh, i hope uh, abirup you will uh, take advantage of how to become a players if you want uh, but otherwise the hacks which i told you you can even try those out and you can do those so subscribe to this channel before you go like this video if you have liked what i have discussed so far in the video okay share this video with your friends so that we can grow as much as possible uh, thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next live